Hi, welcome to Wisecat. Okay, so uh, today I have, uh, I want to keep it a fairly short one, but um, we're going to look at something that I've been meaning to do for a while. Uh, I got this uh, YouTube comment uh, just uh, earlier on. Uh, it says, what is the best way to remove missing from disk plugins? I have four Microsoft plugins that I no longer want, but don't seem to be able to remove them. I tried the CLI, but it didn't work for some reason. Okay, um, thank you very much for writing in. I do think that maybe I have a, a clue as to why that might have happened. Uh, so let's have a look at it. And as a result, we're going to be looking at, and today's topic is uninstalling. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm messing up. All right. Yep, no editing. Find managing and uninstalling plugins with uninstallplugins.php. And that's the uh, command line way to uninstall plugins. So now if I shrink down on the bottom right hand corner, let's have a look at how we actually go about doing this. So I've got myself a little uh, Moodle here that I built earlier on today. I was actually doing some other stuff with it and trying out some experiments and things like that. And so if I go to site administration, the plugins and the plugins overview, you'll see that I have a bunch of, wait a minute, I'll go to additional plugins. And you can see that I've got some missing from disk plugins here. Uh, I just deliberately installed a few and then I just went in and, uh, the terminal and I just deleted them. So I deleted the files without actually uninstalling them properly. Now, as you can see, I've actually got an uninstall link here on my page. And the way to actually make sure that this can appear is to uh, set up your Moodle so that your Moodle, uh, the www data user or the, the Apache HTTPD user, uh, the Apache user or the Nginx user um, has write access to the directory. And so it can actually delete the files itself. Um, if you don't have that, generally you won't you won't see this uh, uninstall. You won't see uh, install available updates, and you won't be able to install directly through the web interface because here you can actually install plugins directly here. So anyway, inside of my plugins overview, there's one of the plugins that I did want to actually call attention to as well as this one, the completion progress one. So there's actually a way to uh, fix this problem without actually uninstalling it, and that is. Uh, it's actually saying, you know, install this update. There's an update. And the update actually is the exact same version number here. Uh, so I don't think that's actually an update. It's just, it's recognized, hey, you, you're missing some code and uh, it's in the plugins directory. So, hey, if you want to just grab it, you can. So that's a pretty cool way of uh, dealing with that one. I'm assuming that um, uh, Shirya Jin, uh, the person who made the uh, comment, doesn't have these uninstalls and so has tried to do it using the command line. And so we'll get to that in just a moment. But while I'm here anyway, and I've got some missing uh, plugins, I thought I might just show you another thing that's going to happen uh, when you do that. And if you go to reports over here, and if you look at performance overview, you'll see that uh, the performance overview actually checks, you know, uh, things all hunky-dory inside your Moodle. And you'll see that I've also got here a database schema check is failing. Now, this means that there are some things in the database that either there's something missing or there's something there that shouldn't be there or stuff like that. And so in this case, we've got, you know, a couple of those blocks and uh, the block configurable reports and the sharing cart um, tables, for example, because I've deleted the, the files, uh, this, this check will actually say, hey, there's a table there and there doesn't seem to be any code associated with it. Uh, so that's what that's actually telling you there. You might see some other um, messages in here as well, if, especially if you've got a fairly old uh, Moodle that you've been upgrading uh, bit by bit, because there can sometimes be some some fields have changed uh, their data type or something like that. And, you know, this is actually, well, it's a call for another video, actually. But um, this is another place where you can actually see the, the effects of having uh, plugins that are missing from disk, but they're still there. So one of the ways that we can actually do this is we can actually use, I'm going to just use the, the stash block here. I'm going to just uninstall that one and just use the web interface to do that. Um, it'll look pretty much the same uh, for the other one. 
as well. It'll tell you if there's an instance or something like that. But uh, basically, to go through the um, the web interface, you can usually just go through, click through, and click through. Um, yeah, I'm not HTTPS and stuff like that. And then you can upgrade the Moodle database and you're essentially done. Um, so if the stash block were missing, then that would be how I would get rid of that one. And now I can come back to my um, my plugins, uh, additional plugins page here. And you can see that um, I've got you know two additional plugins that exist, the Level XP and the Boost Union theme, um, which I'm using. That's where the purple comes from. Um, but you can see that these have, now the stash block is actually completely gone. Okay, so another thing that I could do is I could do the install the update. But what you really want to see is the CLI, right? The CLI stuff is what we're here for, the main show. So let's grab up a terminal. Uh, yoink! And so here I have a terminal. And you can see that I'm currently logged in uh, and I'm in the directory for my Moodle. So I'm in my Moodle www root. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cd into the blocks area. And you can see in here, this is where the the block would exist. And stash block is actually gone now because I've, I've removed that. But you can see the other ones like um, level up XP. Uh, level up XP. XP is just this one, XP here. So if I delete that one, um, sudo rm dash rf xp let's just delete that now it's gone and now if i refresh this uh screen here uh let's see i'll just hit f5 to refresh it and uh don't have it there all right let's go and purge some caches shall we uh, oh well wait a minute it's just recognized it once i go into another another page here yeah, so this is just it recognizing that something's missing from disk and okay, we, we should you know do something about it. And this is another one that's giving me an install this update. So I do have a way of, of getting it back. Um, it's not actually doing much there. It's not deleting my tables or anything like that. It's not taking care of it. What it's doing is saying that there's uh, missing from disk. If I go to the available updates and, and reinstall it, then that'll come back nicely. Actually, I, I will do a quick, I'll do a quick install like this. So if you click on install this update, that'll download it from the plugin directory for you and install it for you. So boom, it'll come in. You can click through just like installing any other plugin. And it's back. So it'll upgrade to a new version, which is a newly installed version. And so now if I come back here, you can see that I've got my level up XP is back. It's back and it's it's genki again. It's uh, all happy, hunky dory, uh, but the other three are still missing. So let's have a look at what happens when we wanna try to get rid of these ones using uninstall.php. So inside here, if I go back to www, there's an, one way to uh, check out, um, what files, untracked files are there. That'll show that I've got a couple of plugins that the code is actually there. But this won't show us code that is missing. And for that, we actually need the um, the uh, uninstalled plugins.php. And it's an interesting one because uninstalled plugins.php actually has uh, a whole bunch of uh, other functionality as well. So if I show you that functionality, I'm going to make this a bit bigger because what I want to do is make make sure that I've got the entire command up there for you. Okay, so if you do the uh, sudo www data change the web web user, and then go php admin cli uninstall plugins .php, and after that we're going to be adding a bunch of switches. So if I start off with help. Because I need a little help, okay? I need a little help. I don't know what's going on with this command, and I want to know what's going on with this command. So when I do that, it's going to show me the different options that I have, and help is one of them. Now, uh, I can say, you know, show all, which will demonstrate all of the plugins. Show contrib is another one that's very good. That, that one will 
um, display a list of all the third-party installed plugins. So any additional plugins that I have will be with Show Current Troop. Show Missing will show uh, the ones that are missing from disk. So let's do those two and see if how we go with those, shall we? All right, so I'm gonna just copy that to the clipboard there and we'll do, hit this up again, but this time show contrib. Right, and so you can see I've got my block XP, which is the level up XP one, block completion progress, which is completion progress, block configurable reports, sharing cart, theme boost union as well. So that's all the additional plugins that I've got currently installed. If I change show contrib to show missing, then I have these three are currently missing. And so I can actually uninstall these directly from uh, here. But you just have to remember that um, there's the left-hand side and the right-hand side, and the left-hand side has the module type as well. This is important. This is the type of plugin that we actually want, because if we want to uninstall plugins, uh, we're going to have to do things like this, uninstall plugins, list which plugins we want to uninstall, and then give them the, give the name. Now, just notice that the, the name is the part on the left with the actual plugin name. It's not the part on the right that doesn't have all the information. So let's copy that one there, block configurable reports, and let's do one here. Plugins and equals, and let's just paste that in block configurable reports, and let's give it a run. Okay, great, block configurable reports, yeah, uh, will be uninstalled, it will be. Well, when will it be? Will it be, w or didn't it be? Wasn't it, isn't it already, hey? Okay, so now I can go to my, I don't know, um, upgrade.php and that should be it, right? Well, no. Um, it wouldn't be right because, uh, guess what? Oh, wait a minute. I hear it. I hear a duck. Here comes the duck. Ducky's wing tip of the day. Uninstalled PHP, uh, uninstalled plugins.php doesn't do anything in terms of uninstalling stuff unless you use the run switch as well. Right? So let's go back and try it again, this time with the run switch. So if I come back here and I've got my unimplug, um, plug, uninstalled plugins there, I'm gonna shrink this down. Sorry, it's a little bit long, but um, here we go. Here's the command here. sudo uh, uninstall plugins.php, it's a plugins, block configurable reports. I'm gonna add another double dash and run it. Run! Yeah, um, anyway, when I do that, now that's done the database stuff to actually make it a uh, uh, success like that. Now after this, I am also going to want to hit that upgrade.php just one more time and do a database upgrade to finish the deal. Okay, setting new default values, so to speak. Well, unsetting them, etc., etc. And now if I come back here and refresh this lovely window here, and now, then there were two, right? So you can see that uh, my configurable reports one, I think is the one that I got rid of here. Uh, yep, block configurable reports is now missing. Uh, well, it's not only missing from disk, it's missing from the list of missing from disk ones. Okay, so that's one way to do it as well. But there's another uh, little cool little thing here is actually called purge missing. And so purge missing will uninstall all the missing from disk plugins um, that you have. So if I one more time do the show missing, you can see that now I currently have two. Well, what if I want to get both of these in one fell swoop? That's where purge missing comes into it. So now if I change the show to purge, then you can see it will be uninstalled, will be uninstalled. And this is once again, not doing it for me because, um, well, as the duck said, uninstall plugins.php won't do anything without the run switch. So let's hit that again. And this time let's add bang, bang, run, run. And that's done um, the 
the first part of uh, uninstalling, but of course we need to do an upgrade PHP uh, to make sure that the database uh, does its thing. And so we're gonna hit a yes on that again. That's setting our new default values. We'll unsetting them and boom. Now that command line upgrade is done. And this one here, I should be able to uh, refresh this and these two will now be gone completely gone and there that is it the, they're gone and now we can go back to our reports and go back to that performance overview and just double check and yes our database database schema has been repaired as a result and now everything's all status okay so that's where we wanted to be okay so um basically uninstall plugins is incredibly useful for not just uninstalling plugins, uh, but plugin management in general, because uh, remembering that there are these other ones as well. Show Contrib is, I mean, I, I use Show Contrib all the time because this gives you a, a straight up list of all of your third party uh, plugins that you've got. Uh, why do I use it? Because I can script this. I can actually make a script that um, tells me, that goes to the server, tells me uh, all the additional plugins that are installed in that Moodle as well. Um, this run switch is really, really awesome uh, because the, the run switch here running in a dry mode uh, by default. And you know, <laughs> this is, this is the danger zone, right? Without putting the dash dash run in there, you're not going to be able to, you know, destroy anything. Uh, this is a, a wonderful safety feature. I, I really like that because I can use uninstalled plugins, which sounds dangerous uh, without fear of destroying my Moodle. Okay, so anyway, that's it for tonight. I did say that I was going to try and keep it fairly short. It's uh, 17 minutes, so that's well, not super short. But anyway, um, good luck with uh, uninstalling your plugins. I hope that it all uh, works, for your, works out for you nicely. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you very much. Catch ya.